Hi guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today we're going to go through the process of making these puzzle piece name plaques on the scroll saw. You'll probably see from the video footage that's on there that it's, it's a fairly old video, it's before I got a decent camera set up. Uh, but uh, I stumbled across them the other day and I thought it'd be quite an interesting video to make a, a bit of a difference from all the laser videos that I've been doing and show you what else um, I get up to in my workshop. So if you like the video, please hit that like button. Also consider subscribing because I'm going to be posting more and more videos of more of the stuff that I'm making because it seems that a few people are actually enjoying them. So uh, I want to thank everybody that's subscribed so far. Um, so let's carry on and hopefully you enjoy the video. So to start with I found these scrap pieces of wood, uh, it's 18 mil MDF and these were left over from other projects and they were roughly the right size, I just ripped them down to perfect size on my table saw sled. To attach these patterns to the wood I use some masking tape, uh, I use low tack masking tape, really cheap stuff so it peels off really easy when I'm finished and then I use a bit of spray glue to attach the pattern over the top and once I've finished I can just peel all this off it makes it nice and easy, there's no sticky residue on the wood And when I do stick these down, I try and line up the corners with the edges on here because I've used my table saw sled that I know these corners are 90 degrees and it just saves me that little bit of time cutting out those uh, edges as well. So over at the drill press, I've got this all set up, ready to go. Uh, I've set the depth and I'm using a 1.5 millimeter drill bit. As you see, I've got an adapter to actually be able to fit the drill bit into the chuck because my chuck doesn't go that small. When drilling the holes I try and drill close to any corners or any points where I can make a really tight turn that way the entrance and exit of the cut is, is, is hidden um, in the in the joint in the, in the tight corner. Uh, it's just one of the little things that I've picked up over the time of using the scroll saw. So now we're on for the fun part, the actual cutting out of the pieces. Um, I use an Axminster EX21 scroll saw. One of the best things about this machine is that it's got the, um, the keyless blade change which makes it a lot easier for changing blades, but it also makes it a lot easier to feed the blade through the piece that you're cutting. Uh, especially if you've got a piece that's got lots and lots of tiny little holes doing intricate pieces it cuts a lot of time off there and takes a lot of strain off trying to find the tool and messing about with that. So I'll speed up this video and you can just sit back and enjoy.
Okay, now it's all cut out, we just need to peel off the masking tape and the paper and it comes off fairly easily. Uh, if you've got a more intricate pattern, it does take a bit more effort to get this off, but most of the time it just peels off pretty easily. And once it's all peeled off, then we can get on to painting. So usually after peeling the paper off you'd want to sand it before painting but I sanded the items before attaching the wood and I use a number 3 scroll reverse skip tooth blade from Pegasus. That's a mouthful. Um, with these blades you end up with a really fine finish and there's no tear out on the back even with MDF. For painting I'm using some black hard wearing emulsion from uh, Wilkinson's. This is watered down to go through my HVLP which is attached to my air compressor. You can easily do this with spray paint but I make quite a few of them so there's no point in me doing it with spray paint anymore. I upgraded to an air compressor just to make things easier for myself. The trick to this when you're painting is to go slow, put some light coats on there, it doesn't matter if you need to take three or four coats, just make them coats really light and you'll get a nice even coat and you don't really need to sand in between either. The blocks that are underneath are just some freebie 2 that are off cuts and I have pinned some brad nails in there with my brad nail gun just so they sit around half inch away from the block and it gives the pieces of wood something to sit on while I'm spraying them, it stops the build up underneath. Here I just flip the plaques around so I can get the other side. Usually I'd just walk around the table that I've got set up there but because I've got the camera there I just didn't want to get in everybody's way and I, didn't, I couldn't actually reach around the back and I'd tripped up over the camera. So in between recording I did a, another two coats on that back side and let them dry in between and then flipped it over and started doing the front side. And that is it, that's it finished. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, it was quite fun to make and I enjoyed doing these. these are quite unique gifts to give to people. If you like the video hit the like button and leave a comment down below if anything, any information helped you. Uh, any links to anything that I used will be down below as well. So that's to the scroll saw, my compressor, HVLP gun, absolutely everything that I used in this video. I'll stick a link down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.